I mean, it's gonna be a weird video. <sighs> oh, what's up? I'm back. And I'm reading fan fictions. This lady is trash. I'm reading fan fictions. So, if y'all hear anything like uncomfortable or stuff, and you just click out of the video. Just click at. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with my hair? I'm reading fan fictions. Okay. I'm reading fan fictions. This will be a little inappropriate for some people. But if you enjoy this stuff, then stay at your own risk. I'm gonna be reading these fing stories on Wattpad. That's what people tell me where all the fan fictions are. So I'm just gonna type in my name. Damn. Pause. Let it, let it, let it focus, bro. Nine, you read, you, you see that number? 900. Focus! 934,000 reads. Smut. I'm not sure what the fuck this smut. Shut the fuck up. Smut meaning urban dictionary. What? The, written sex? Like in fan fiction, I'm reading some on Wattpad. Sexual maturity under text. That's what I said. Sexual maturity. So if you don't like listening to this shit, then I highly recommend for you to press that X, X button. All right? But if you're a weird weirdo and enjoy this, I'm not saying, I mean, everyone has what they, everyone likes what they like. But if you enjoy this, then stay. We can both read this together. Like a little happy family. What am I doing, bro? Why am I so weird? So this story <clears throat> has table of contents. I'm gonna read three, you know? I'm gonna read three of them on this video. I'm gonna rely on my technology. I'm gonna tell Siri to pick a number between one through 55. And that number I pick, and we gonna read that shit together. Siri, pick a number between one and 55. It's 18. 18, ladies and gentlemen. 18 says driving. This one has 17.9 thousand reads. So but let's get into driving. By the way, you OGs, um, y'all recognize this shirt? You should wear this John in the summer. I haven't worn this shit in a minute. I just wanted to put that in there because this is a little nostalgic moment for me and for the for the supporters. The red off the wall van shirt. Just quit playing. I told y'all to quit playing with me. Anyways, I'm gonna start reading. Starts off with, we admire the sunset as we drive down the long country lane. We've gone for a long drive to nowhere in particular just to relax and watch the sunset. This is so beautiful, I say, gazing at the sky. Just like you, Matias says, turning to face me as he slows the car down. What am I, some type of f simp? I blush and turn away from him, smiling. What? You're fine as f he says, placing his hand on my, okay. This is so cringy. He says, placing his hand on my thigh. So are you, Mattia, I reply. He bites his lip and turns back to the road. We sit in comfortable silence as Don Tolliver plays on Aux quietly. See, that's that's the only realistic thing I've heard so far, is that I'll be playing Don Tolliver. I'm not gonna say what. You're fine as f Hell no, f Matias starts making small circles on my inner thigh with his thumb, rubbing my leg through my leggings. I look down at his actions and feel myself instantly get wet at the sight. All right, so this is what this is where the the smut comes in. His hands were so attractive, the veins prominent and his fingers long and bony. He has a black ring on his ring finger, which I don't have anymore, which seemed to make his hands even hotter. Whenever I see his hands, I just want them on my neck. The veins on his hands led up to his forearms, which I soon gripped to make him quicken his actions on my thigh. My hands are not veiny and bony. They're bony, I get. Oh, you hear that shit? Anyways, they can be bony, but I don't got veins. I don't got them like sexy ass muscular veins. I don't got that shit. But hey, this is what I like about Wattpad. You can write anything you want and they can make me some nice 6'4 buff sexy man. I need you, Mattia. I moan as he brings his hand closer and closer to my heat. The fuck is heat? What was that, baby? Mattia says, his eyes fixed on the road. Daddy, I quietly moan as Mattia sticks his hand into my leggings. Hips up, baby girl, Mattia says. Right. I will never say baby girl in my life. You got me fucked up with that shit. That's cringy. No, my hair is a fucking mess. I'm gonna go fix this and I see a little stubble, so I'm gonna shave that. Right. I think I cut myself while doing this brightness. 
I think I cut myself, so if I'm bleeding mid-video, y'all know why. Where was I? Okay. <laughs> For a split second, Matia takes his eyes off the road to look at my underwear and licks his lips as he spots the red thong. Damn, that looks hot as fuck, he says. I have to read two more of these. I have to read two more of these shit. You look hot as f daddy. I say, returning his energy. Suddenly, Matia pulls over onto the side road and parks the car. Oh shit. Backseat. Now, he demands as he pulls the keys out of the ignition. This motherfucker with Matia is aggressive. Let me get comfortable for this one. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is words. I wouldn't do that to words. I do it to videos. I just went a little PG-13 right there. Anyways, I bite my lip at his instruction and climb into the backseat. My in Matias face. He gives it a hard slap from behind me and I let out a small moan. Dude, these are fucking... Jesus. As I reach the back seat, Matias pushes me so I'm laying down on the seat and grabs my face before kissing me harshly. He bites my lip in the kiss and I slip my hand under his shirt to feel his toned stomach. See, that's another lie, but I f*** with it because my stomach, it's not toned. I got... Hear that? That's a belly right there. Anyways, I'm working on it, so catch me this summer with a toned stomach. Oh, f***. I'm gonna see your mom as I rake my nails against his body. Yo, what the <laughs> shit? I'm so hungry for you, he adds as he pulls his trousers. I think this girl's from the UK. Trousers. And underwear down to reveal his hard length. Bro, what the <laughs> Come on now. I take his length into my hands and start pumping my hands up and down. What the fuck, he mumbles as he places his hands on the now steamed up window and the other rests on my naked waist. Yo, I can't be reading this. <laughs> Pre-C-U-M is spilling from Matia as I run my thumb over it, spreading it over to his head. This action makes Matia's eyes roll back and he moans my name loudly. Before I can do anything else, he removes himself from my hands and lines himself up with my entrance. His head dips back into my neck as he pushes himself and starts Sucking on my sweet spot. One of Matias' hands stays on the window and the other wraps around my neck to choke me. This makes me roll back my eyes as he cuts some of the moon the money out. You like that? Matias grows into my ear. His whispers sending shivers down my spine. Mmm, yes, I'm wrong. As he pounds into me. Matias lifts one of my legs onto his shoulder. This position reveals an entire new level of pleasure, making me let out. Dude, how long is this shit? Oh, f daddy. <laughs> I almost scream as Matias connects his lips to mine, drinking down my moan. <laughs> ah, f mamas. Don't, don't ever, don't ever, please. Anyone who's thinking of writing fanfics don't just please put just you can do anything you want just don't make me say mama because i will never say that shit that shit is cringy as and yes i'm adding you josh richards i saw that shit i saw that shit you put that shit in your instagram caption i was cracking the up he said mamas no josh what are you doing Harder, daddy. Faster. He listens to my wish and his thrust speed up even more. This man's stroke game was beyond incredible. <laughs> Continue. I feel a knot begin to form in my lower stomach and grip onto Matias' biceps as he continues to thrust into me with no remorse. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I just realized I was supposed to read the Myri fanfics. At least I cut that one short because that was way too much. Let me just get away from this and type in Matia and Kyrie. This is what you guys want to see. Oh, wait, there's not that many reads on the whole. Let me type Myrie. Best friends, Myrie. 78,000. All right. I guess I'm going to read this one. This is Best Friends, Myrie by Horn Seahawk. All right, she gave me a little a little disclaimer. Kyrie or Matia, if you're going to read this, don't please tell your friends to stay off this platform. It's cursed. I warn you, whatever. I don't give a I'm going to read this shit. These are going to be a little explicit, so I'm just reading this one. That's it. The Jersey Boys were the type that would never break up. They will never be apart from each other, especially Kyrie and Matia. They're the closest to each other. So that meant they almost never fought. They all knew each other's secrets and basically always were together. What they didn't know is that Kyrie was, well, gay. Which isn't bad, but Kyrie feared most for the others to find out. So in this story, Kyrie's gay. On to this now. What the fuck? Present. Kyrie's phone rang, signaling someone was calling him. As soon as he saw that Matia was dialing, he immediately answered. Hello, Matia said through the phone, smiling. And just as Kyrie answered, hey, he answered, why'd you call me? Was wondering if you want to hang out with the boys tonight. We playing truth or dare. 
The Italian boy answered directly, knowing he'll come without him asking, he's doing it anyway. What's wrong with my hair? Yeah, I'll try to be there. Kairi chuckled, which Mattia found oddly adorable. What you mean? Mattia pouted and pretended to cry. Just kidding. Oh my god, you can't take a joke, Kairi said. Says who? Mattia says in a fake, offended tone. Anyway, I gotta go see you there. He hung up on him. Kyrie went on his Instagram for a while, waiting for anything to really happen when a text popped up. Alejandro goes, Hey yo, Matia told you to come at the parking lot at 9 p.m., right? He opened the notification rapidly as he replies real fast, unlike Matia Polizio. Well, yeah, that's true. I don't reply fast. I don't care what the situation is. I don't reply. <laughs> Kyrie, yo, yo, bruv, gotta be there. Gonna be there. My mom gone to work with Maya. Alejandro goes, bro, what the fuck? Is this bad news or something? Because I don't get it. Are you dumb? That means we stay till tomorrow at Matias. No cap. I bet. I he always is the one left on scene, but I don't mind because he's my best friend. I go to take a shower or something. Whose point of view is this? Whose point of view is this? I have no f***ing idea. Anyways, 30 minutes later, it was 8.49, so the half-Japanese boy started to get dressed. He chose a yellow hoodie with black ripped jeans, slipping in some vans and watching proudly at the image in the door. That's, that, that's literally a Kyrie outfit. <laughs> he called Matia, sub Kai, come pick me up, bro. Kyrie blatantly said, tapping the wooden floor with his right leg. Um, okay, bet. Matia chuckled. Uh, yeah, okay, bye. Kyrie hung up on him like he should have. It was the end of the call for f***ing sake. Five minutes later, the tall boy pulled up in the driveway, waiting for Kyrie patiently. As soon as Kyrie heard the car, he rushed down the stairs and to Matia's car, almost breaking his arm in the process. Matia looked in awe at the Weijin. Why the Weijin? Why not Kyrie? The Weijin. <laughs> Admiring every little thing about him, from his slightly plump lips to his dark eyes, even when his fluffy hair everyone wanted to touch. Wow, as the boy sat down, the taller boy put his hand on the smaller boy's thigh, right where the jeans were ripped. Kyrie started to flush red when he felt Matias warmth against his skin. You're really pretty, he continued. Kyrie blushed so hard and then because of his best friend, he thought he was going to die. Thanks, and you're really hot. Kyrie winked at Matias before he drove off while the rest of the ride was silent. It wasn't awkward, it was just the tension between the two that made it hard to breathe. Yo, she's making me uncomfortable. That kid's my friend. He's <laughs> not my boyfriend. <laughs> Stop shipping me with that motherfucker. He's my friend. We don't like each other like that. Anyways, once they arrived, Kyrie ran off in Alvaro's arms. You're home, yay. The Weijin boy jumped up and down as the same sized boys started to cuddle into each other's arms. For some reason, Matia felt really jealous, but he didn't know why at all. He said, all right, let's go inside my house now while rolling his eyes at Alvaro. Yo, cut the beef, Kyrie laughed, but Matia wasn't amused, not even a little bit, and Alvaro saw that. They were all in Matia's room, Kyrie was scrolling on Instagram, Matia on TikTok, literally the only people staying on their phones, that's, that's kind of true, we were always on our phones. <laughs> Anyways, God, this story's fucked. The boys, boys were like, I can't f***ing read today. Playing truth to there and y'all dumbasses on the phone like the f*** is wrong with you, Alvaro said in a sassy tone. The Italian boy rolled his eyes while throwing his phone in the bed next to Kyrie. The short boy could eye that Mattia left his phone. Why is it the short boy, the tall boy, the Asian, the Italian? The short boy could eye that Mattia left his phone open, which made him feel nosy about looking in his phone, but he didn't stop. He was looking at Kyrie's videos. Why though? It didn't matter, because as soon as he put that question to his mind, Alvaro smiled cheekily while yelling. Kyrie, truth or dare, Alvaro asked in an amused tone that pissed Mattia off way more than usual. F*** you, Alvaro. <laughs> My nose is stuck, Jesus. Even if Kyrie felt like he couldn't trust Alvaro, he still said there, which made Alejandro smirk at Alvaro. I dare you stay on Matias' lap for the rest of the game, Alvaro said while rubbing his hands on his chin with a devilish grin on his face. I dare you to stay on Matias' lap for the rest of the game. That's Alvaro. That's Alvaro. This story is weird. No! Kyrie refused to go sit in his best friend's lap, even if they did it multiple times. It's weird to him now, but why? <laughs> Al Alvaro said, that's literally what the thing says. Hold up. Wait, please focus. You see that right there? Please focus. Aloe vera said slat. Please focus. Please. There it is. What the fuck? Alvaro said, guy. So the Weijin sighed while looking at the grinning Italian boy and, well, just sat on his lap. Kyrie was still on his phone, so Alvaro tried, but not too hard to get it from his hands. Just like that, they were fighting for the Weijin's phone. Dude, why the Weijin? That just makes it weird to read. Rashawn literally jumped. Oh, hell no. Nah. As he turned the other way around. As Mattia grew somehow annoyed and he felt his pants tighten by the second, he grabbed Kyrie's hips and pulled him to stay still. Stay still, baby, you're gonna make me hard, Mattia said in a whisper but loud enough for everyone to hear. Alvaro choked, 
Alejandro died, Rashawn covered his face, Pinto squeaked, Kyrie shivered. That's it, that's the story. Two tongue emojis. That's literally what it says. That's it, that's the story. Two tongue emojis. That's literally it. That was the weirdest ending I've ever heard of my life. I just get hard because Kyrie's sitting on my lap. That was f weird. I'm gonna read a Matia and Alejandro one. Just for the banter, I'm gonna read Matia and Alejandro. I'm gonna read this book called Your World, Malahandro. It's four parts, so stay tuned, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, grab your Coca-Cola, cause it's gonna be a little long, bit. Ow, f Alejandro said in pain as Matia watched. Matia, I told you not to do that. Matia grabbed his arm and looked at his elbow. There was a rash with some blood trickling down his arm. Alejandro just wanted to go explore in the forest until it was there off day from school. As Matia was examining his elbow, Alejandro's face grew red. He felt really weird when he stared at Matia's lips, soft he thought. He shook his head violently and swiftly moved his arm away from him. Matia's phone started to ring. Matia, it's my girl. Matia said, quickly answering the phone, Alejandro frowned knowing that they were gonna stop exploring for Matia to go see his girlfriend. Just leave him and hang out with me. Alejandro heard through the phone, or thought he heard. Finally, they stopped talking. Matia says, I have to go, Alejandro. You always do. Can you just stop dating her? You would exaggerate so much. She makes me happy. Just accept it, Alejandro. Whatever, he said, walking away. Let's just go. Why do all these stories make me the top, bro? Like, <laughs> Alejandro, give me your hoodie, Matia. Alejandro makes a pouty face like this. So Matia says, you know I can't give you my hoodie. My girlfriend gets really mad. It's not like we're dating. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Are you going to soccer practice, Alejandro? Of course I am. Captains shouldn't miss any practices unless they have a good reason to. Matia goes, I wish Brian didn't have to be captain. Alejandro goes, Brian is a great captain, Matia. He's one of the best players on our team. Plus, he's very respectful and more responsible than I am. Matia, whatever. I don't want to talk about him. Alejandro, all right, fine. I have to go to class. I don't want to be late. And don't be late, Matia. Matia says, I'll try. They side hug and go, all right, I'm never going to hug one of my boys in class. I'll dab him up, you know, a little... Guy, guy, I'm not gonna Don't catch me doing that shit. Alejandro, Brian! Alejandro said in Hattie Moo, smiling. His smile always lights up everyone's mood. Brian, oh, oh, what's up, Ale? Now this is Alejandro's POV. He seemed quite nervous. Brian couldn't even make eye contact with me. Was it blush that I was seeing? No, he's probably really tired since yesterday. Newscast member, let's go, Brian. All right. That's part two. I don't even know if the story's finished. I don't know, but new character. Personality, caring, gentle, quiet, kind, very good at soccer. Age 16, Brian Coro. Next part. Part three, Matia. F off, Brian. How many times do I have to say stop flirting with him? Brian goes, do you really want to get into problems, Matia? Keep in mind, I know one of your deepest secrets that you wouldn't want me to tell your girlfriend. Matia goes, you're such a Brian, and you're a liar. Hey guys, chill out, we have a game today. One of the soccer team members said in the back, and he took a deep breath and glared at Brian. Never in his life would it pop up that they would ever be friends, and it's gonna stay like that forever. I, so I really don't f Brian. Brian, f you, I don't f with you, bitch. F you. I'm trying to tell me my secrets to my girlfriend. F that's all Alejandro wanted with Matia, to be with each other as long as they can, till their very last breath. He was probably asking for too much, and he knew that would never happen. He set himself a motto, an easy, well-thought one, but hard to accomplish. Get over him, those exact words was his motto. He knew Matia as a girlfriend, plus he is straight too. All this hurt him, sending him a wave of sadness, which brought tears. You guys need to use your commas. Good stories, but use your commas, because I can't f***ing read this shit. All he wanted to do was get over him, but that was really... Well, but what, what, bro, no, but was that what he really wanted? Commas! In reality, he didn't know what was best for him. All he wanted was for Matia to be happy. Next part. Alejandro's POV. Matia, look. I pointed at the stars above us, the dark night sky and the light. The stars would give off me. They seemed like indigo blue, but it was really beautiful. Alejandro, uh, do you like Brian? Matia says. Could it be that you're jealous? I said as I laugh, of course not. Matia, I don't like him. If that's what you're wondering, I like someone else. Matias says, who? Tell me. I can't, at least not right now. He looks at me, we lock eye contact. What if I said I liked you? Funny joke, Matias, you can't just say that. Tia says, why not? And you haven't answered my question. Either way, a confession will come sooner or later. Plus, you are dating someone right now, stupid. I wouldn't want my lover to talk to someone like that while we are dating. I'm not saying it like I want to. I figured as much. This wasn't fun anymore. I just wanted to see the stars and not talk about whatever this shit was. Uh, Matias, we should leave. Are you mad now? No, it's just I'm getting sleepy. No, keep him happy. Keep him happy. No, never mind. It's fine. Uh, we can stay here a bit more. Right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done reading these fan fiction. I'm done reading these fan fiction. These are making me so uncomfortable. I know for a fact the next time we hang out, when this is uploaded, I'm gonna play this video next time the boys hang out. I'm gonna make them all so uncomfortable because I have to be put through this.
this shit. I had to be put through reading me f***ing someone, Kyrie getting me hard, and f***ing me and Alejandro falling in love. So I'm playing that shit. And I'm going to find Alejandro, Kyrie, Robert, Alvaro, Rashawn fan fictions. I'm going to find all of them shits. And I'm going to play that while we hang out. Make them assholes uncomfortable as f***. Not their assholes, but them. Yeah, I'm calling them assholes. They're not, not their assholes. <sighs> But yeah, in all honesty, I hope you enjoyed that second YouTube video. I I swear I'm gonna make this a profession. I swear I'm going to continue doing this YouTube stuff. Just bear with me. I don't really have time to record all the time. And after the recording, the editing, my editor at the nine s i r e on Instagram. The fucking go. I love you. It takes her some time to edit. Bear with me. I won't be doing you know daily uploads. I can't do that shit. But promise you, I will be consistent. You know and. Uh, just like last video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you. You two made the Alright, so this is like the one with the most reads. So I think I said that already. Um cut that out. Cut that out. Don't put this in here. It didn't uh wait, what was I reading? These are weird. <laughs> I wish Brian didn't have to be captain. Alejandro. <laughs> hey, captain Matias, he's one of the best players on our team. Plus, he's very respect. An easy, well thought one, but hard to accomplish. And no, I'm not gonna go say that was too harsh. That's my new thing. Every, every after every video, I'm gonna do peace.